Welcome to Drunk Disney, where we get drunk watching Disney movies and then tell you what we learned from them. This week's movie, which I'm very excited about, is Hunchback of Notre Dame, released in 1996, and it's considered to be Disney's darkest movie. This week we have a very special guest with us, internet personality and cosplayer, Leo Camacho! Yay! Today's drinking game comes from Farmagirl826. Whenever Frollo acts like the monster, and Quasimodo acts like the man. To Walt? To Walt. Whoa. And Fauntleroy. And what? Fauntleroy, that's Donald's middle name. I got the Fauntleroy cup. What? Fauntleroy? Everybody <laughs> learns on Drunk <laughs> uh, Guys, am I a pagan if I don't watch this? So All right. Guys, I love this movie. A pretzel shop. I think that deserves a drink attack. God <laughs> damn it. Gypsies. Racial term? To the gypsies. They don't get enough credit. Kinda sexy. What? Villain attraction disorder. What? Click here okay, to watch fine. villain attraction disorder. <laughs> Disney was sitting there going, you know what kids like? Opera music. I want to see that monster. I All wish right. they showed you. He's the main second. character. You just imagine him, but smaller. Disney won't let you have stubble if you're an employee, but they'll toss a baby in a well. All the other Disney villains look at Frollo and are like, that guy takes it way too far. He wants to like exterminate a people. Yeah. You're talking about ethnic cleansing. Frollo is Hitler. Tony well, J has a sexy voice. Do you know who else he voices? Dr. Lipschitz from Rugrats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like Dr. Lipschitz. He was pretty monstrous during that was this a monster. entire part. How did the shadow puppet grab the string? Disney magic. Power it's... metal! To Clopin's musical prowess. Mm. Oh, and here come the gargoyles. Great. All right, fast forward. This movie makes me like Seinfeld less. Did you see the way she hops? It's like she's riding an invisible scooter. This is uh, Quasimodo's version of The Sims. I'm gonna build them a pool that they can't climb out of. Does Quasi have a black eye? Oh, I God. think it's just like a like a shadow. Shadow from his mushroom brow. Speaking of bruises, YouTube, do you like this giant gross bruise on my knee? <laughs> Comment below. When I was young, I got sick at Disney World and my face swelled up and my parents took a picture of me and Quasimodo together. And we're twinsies. Look at those forearms. That guy's He's oh. beefy. Like he could show you a good time. He's alone all no. day. I ring bells for a living. <laughs> What's with the giant Jesus head? It's like a that. church. What do you mean? Quasi's setting the dinner table. That's pretty manlike. This is to E, eternal damnation. <laughs> you are deformed. <laughs> And you are ugly. My parents used to sing this song to me as a child. You're grounded. Frollo's a shitty risk player. <laughs> or cheesy or nothing. Anytime, like, Frollo touches Quasi's, like, hump, I feel like it should make the sound of, like, a hollow tree. Like a thunk. The blue band group could use him as, like, a percussion instrument. He's very nimble because of his forearms. Fun side note. This bracelet with the cross on it is actually from Notre Dame. This guy travels the world. I feel like at this distance, the people down there can see him and hear him. Who's that guy up there? Is that that hunchback guy singing up there? Film it and put it online. Shut the f*** up! Phoebus is the most boringly animated character I've ever I... seen. They did a good job of capturing Kevin Klein's sort of animation. Mm, yes, I'm Kevin Klein. Mm. Esmeralda may be the most smoking oh, Disney woman. You said Chicha was. Yeah. I was wrong. She's a buxom young lady. At your service, sir. That guy oh. sounds like Patrick, and I'm not convinced that it's not Patrick. Why don't we take all the gypsies and move <laughs> them to England? Here you go, Popeye. Like, of course, Frollo lives here. Do you, you get it, Phoebus? It's a metaphor! <laughs> yeah, you could have just explained that. His hand is now covered in dead bodies. Dog. Whose beer is that? It's mine. Did I give you permission? Poppin's like the middle school bully, but he's cool. Two seconds earlier, man, we could have gotten some naked Esmeralda. She was changing into her stripper outfit. She does a little stripper dance. Oh, These yeah, guys just blew their own heads up. Okay, can we talk about the scary CGI people? Look at them in the background. They're God, so it. creepy. I like that they make her hypersexual. Oh, I think yeah. it adds another layer of well, creepiness. I like it too. Most Disney movies are just missing like a buttload of sexiness. 
It also like emphasizes Frollo's point. His feelings are sexual. They're not like he's in love with her. I admire what this movie tries to do. The Hunchback has pretty cool hair. It's perfect 90s hair. That's like Sean from Boy Meets World hair. Give me your leg, bro. Everything's great. Nothing is bad. Let's stop the movie here. You think he's ugly now? Shut up, Patrick. Do people walk around Paris with spare fruit? I've got a head of lettuce, like right now. Oh, shit. I hate oh. this person. Let's all change our minds because of one tomato. <laughs> oh, God. Dramatic lighting for bestial effects. I admire that they're not toning this down. This is the worst thing. Occupy Wall Street. She just crowd surfs away. Yeah, She's like Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat. When did it get dark all of a sudden? Uh, right. When the mood called for it. Did people know that Quasimodo existed before that moment? You heard him screaming. God, your eyebrow game is so strong, Esmeralda. It's because she's Demi Moore. Before or after she shaved her head? Before. This is pre Ashton. Yeah. Ashton was seeing this in theaters because he was a little kid. <laughs> this is Frollo dry humping Esmeralda. How creepy is this? I know what you were imagining. That is the most blatantly sexual line in a Disney movie. I'll call it Dream Detect, yeah. Oh! It's like someone drew the concept out for Esmeralda and someone's like, we should make a movie about sex around this girl. The Frollo boner. boner! The boner that destroys God. Paris. Huh? No trip, God damn it. There is a shit ton of people in this church and no one noticed that Phoebus was fighting Esmeralda. You guys are fighting? Uh, don't wanna... <laughs> in the novel, Frollo is an archdeacon. He's a member of the church. In the movie, the studio didn't want to deal with the implication that the church is bad. So they made him a judge. The animators basically gave the studio the middle finger and animated him looking like a priest. So Quasimodo's not allowed to go in, onto the bottom floor of the church? The no. floor is lava. If he rung those bells, wouldn't he be deaf? This Whoa. is Quasi being a man. Yeah, he's on a sure. date like a man. To Quasi's pad, I want to live there. At Notre Dame Studio. Quasimodo's forearms are the same size as Esmeralda's head. Oh, I like that she blindfolds the girl. If she's bad at it. I don't mean to be racist, but everyone knows the gypsies cannot tie knots. That's the worst stereotype I've ever heard. Hi there, I'm Hi Kevin Klein. Kevin. Plate mail, plus a full grown man. You're looking at at least 250 pounds. Boom! Forearms. He has a goatee, too. Oh. Easily seven pounds. Tell Esmeralda, she's very lucky to have a friend like you. Quasimodo's definitely in the friend zone, but you know what? He ends up accepting it. He ends the movie in a fedora. Milady. Who on this couch would have cycled him? Look Me. at this stuff. Man! <laughs> Like, what are your standards, then? <laughs> Quasimodo is really talented. He can yeah. carve anyone. He because should start an Etsy page. Everyone's going to sleep right <laughs> so now. Many yeah, except Frollo. He's whacking it. Do you think he jacks off with his rings on or off? Oh, on. It has he to likes hurt. the pain. The sun caught in her raven hair. That's yeah, like a monster. Drink. That's just like rapey. Monsters are rapey. Hey, I just killed the uh, aquarium bot. Oh, shit. Hellfire. 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 This is why I love this movie. Did you see all those Robocops? What's his name? Phoebus? Phobos? Phineas and Ferd? Oh, let's just pass for the gargoyles forever. This song should have been called Friend Zone. Wait, who's this tubby asshole? Oh, it's Jerry. Jerry the Gypsy. I'm here to help. This sequel didn't do too well. <laughs> Jerry's new group. I'm gonna stand here and watch you guys make out. Play they the make Vida. out for so long. Quasimodo is being a man here. He helps hide Phoebus, even though he's jealous That's of being a wing man. Some To his being a wingman and also his forearms. Do you think Quasi skips leg day? Never. You know what he's really good? That back day. This <laughs> is basically like a pile of fabric uh, right now. Five second rule, pick it up! That was Godzilla status. He destroyed an entire city. That's a monster! That's a monster! Uh, Monstar! Oh, yeah, Did you not... say Monstar? Oh, Frollo's is... really good at basketball. A Quasimodo's craftsmanship. He's got craftsmanship. some great craftsmanship. Yeah, he did. He can't even descend the stairs non evil. Yeah. I hope. Phoebus and Quasimodo end up together. Oh, I'm sure there's porn of that. Rule 34. 34. These guys go on to kick the Karate Kid's ass. Frodo, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Thunk. I like his tri hat. It's the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's the three. What? Ooh. Is that what it what I, happened? They're How dare you? I wasn't ready for this level of philosophy. I can't sleep tonight. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Drink attack to the whiz! Yeah! He's, he's on, on down, he's on down, he's on down the road. Yo, guys, real to the whiz. This is dope. This is so fun. It's Frollo! Hell Frollo! He's got Guys. a sword and shit. Quasimodo, professional really... friend zoner. Yo, it is unquestionable that Quasimodo has the best hair in the Disney universe. Oh, unreal. And what are you saying? That is so smart. What, what did, did we, we learn from Brian Bag of Notre Dame? Point, point of Notre Dame.
I learned that the church is too important to be portrayed negatively in a Disney film. If you're alone in a tower for days on end, you're gonna jack off a lot and get like massive forearms. I learned that if you're a priest who only sees gypsy women, you're probably just gonna get off to gypsy women. Don't worry about Freddy, he has his own philosophy. Hey Disney, maybe you shouldn't tackle the Holocaust. This, this has, has been Drunk Disney, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Thanks a lot for watching Drunk Disney, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Next up, we need you guys to vote on a movie from the post-Renaissance era. Comment below, and the winner will be the next movie that we watch on Drunk Disney. Also, be sure to click here to subscribe to Leo's channel. He's got a lot of awesome stuff, and he's a very funny guy. Guys, <laughs> let's be real. The post-Renaissance movies are everyone's least favorite. It's gonna be Lilo and Stitch. But if you guys want to see us get super drunk, vote for Home on the Range. And we will f***ing deliver.